researchers have done something actually pretty amazing. They were trying to help uh, four girls ages 13 to 18 who were afflicted with extreme cases of Mayer Rokinitsin Custer Hauser syndrome, Did known as MKRH, I think my pronunciation was okay, uh, which basically means they were born without vaginal canals. This means they couldn't have sex, they couldn't have a regular menstrual cycle, and uh, that's researchers... A, that's insulting to call it a canal, that's a little big. That, that's the science word, not my oh, word. Okay, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a little a, big. More of a creek. Uh, but let's, <laughs> let, we got some info to tell you a little bit, of, a little... <laughs> A little bit more about it, here we go. Uh, researchers took muscle tissue samples from the women, engineered vaginas from them by leaving the samples to mature in an incubator in a facility approved for human tissue manufacturing, and then periodically taking samples out and molding them into vaginal cavities. Mm. Yes, science. Yeah, there you go. Right that doesn't there. look like a vagina. You, uh, wow. But it it's eventually... You know, it eventually I, became one. When I thought about this, they're doing it in the lab. See, they came out with that 3D printing recently. I was uh, first, yeah. thing, first thing I thought, vaginas, vaginas right? Vaginas, that was for, with 3D printing. Some that guys go even. books, some, guy go, some guys go guns, right? I, I also go vaginas, then another 3D printer I print, <laughs> start my own business. See machines what I'm saying? making machines, my <laughs> yes, God, that's uh, crazy. Uh, so we should tell you that all these women have had their new vaginas between four and eight years. They're experiencing sexual arousal. <laughs> Two of the women also have working uteruses uh, and appear to be able Able to have new children. Well, I like how they start with the vagina and now they're going to go and use this to make livers. You know, you've got your priorities yeah. <laughs> in a pretty uh, solid yeah. deal. So now that's that's good news for heavy drinkers too. Yeah. That's, so that's fantastic. Funny. That's so funny. Yeah. Hey, you, you know, know we could use this to make vaginas and a, oh yeah, maybe livers. <laughs> Meanwhile, the guy's sitting in a room with like a thousand boobs everywhere. Yeah, yeah. There's just tits and pussies everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, livers. We can do livers. I guess we should do that. By the way, this is not a joke. They're also working on an anal sphincter. So I think yep. yeah, First that's... functional anal sphincter. It says it right there in quotes. Yeah, I, but that's going to, the approval for that's going to come through the back door. Yeah. I think we know that. 